Well, you know, I'm disappointed that we, we got beat because you should always be annoyed if you lose. You know, you don't come here to get beat. We realised it was going to be a, a difficult game. And as I've just been saying before, we're unfortunate probably that out of all the Premiership teams playing this week, for what they had available, probably Middlesbrough picked a stronger side as what anybody else will. Um, and we can't expect them to put out a, a team of young kids in reserves against us. But our, our task was difficult. And so to only go down to a wonder goal um, is, a, is a good testament to how well our lads played. Obviously, we're disappointed at losing. We don't want to be blocky losers. You know, we came here with a game plan of trying to win the game. We made three or four good chances. Um, so we didn't come here like a team who just wanted to park the bus. It's never been my style, never been our play style. And these type of games probably they suit us in the fact that we're never going to be a Premiership team. But the Premiership style of football where people drop off and let you have the ball or quite expansive when they're attacking, giving you time to counter, it suits the way we play. We like to pass the ball through the third. So we always think that we can, we'll can. we always look good in these games. We just want to try not concede them. Unfortunately, it was a great goal of Peter. Yeah, the time and header. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it just caught him in two stools, whether to go for the header or a volley. He's chose the head and he just couldn't get his head round in. It's only missed the post by a fraction. Um, I'm disappointed with uh, Gianno uh, Danassi in that. I'm not disappointed, you know, you've, it's probably refreshingly honest. But if he'd have been a, a streetwise centre forward instead of a, um, a young, hungry right back, he'd have gone down when, the play, when he's cut across the player late on and I think the referee would have had to give a penalty. But, um, you know, we have to remember that Middlesbrough had a few chances themselves. So, to only lose one, that was probably, you have, we haven't embarrassed ourselves. But it's just, a replay would have meant a lot more. I know, last thing probably Middlesbrough needed, but a replay would have been a godsend for us financially, you know, probably be on the telly and a big gate. And it would have, it would have enhanced our chances for what we do next year. And, they, these games probably don't have the impact on Middlesbrough like they could have on us long term. I think we were good. Uh, it's difficult sometimes to play these kind of games because everybody, everybody thinks that it's going to be a, a easy game. And uh, you can look at the, the scores in other games and uh, a lot of uh, good teams um, have lost. Uh, teams in Premier League, the bottom, with the bottom, sorry, the top of the table league in, in Championship. So again, we've uh, created a lot of chances. We didn't uh, score. So the most important thing today was to, to win the game. It's your day, impressive goal, an impressive overall display. Yeah, and uh, it wasn't a coincidence because I told him and I told them at the, uh, at the half time that he was uh, he was being one of the of the best players on the on the pitch. Uh, he's not playing, and when he went to the pitch, he showed that he wants to play and he's ready to play. Did you come in more into your thoughts for Tuesday night, given his performance today? Always, always when a player uh, take his uh, his chance, always is a a player that you have to to consider. In the same way that uh, other players or players who haven't played their best uh, are losing their chances. And George Friend went off there. Any news on his injury? No, I need to speak with the doctor tomorrow. They need to to check him. No, I don't know at the moment. No, no, I don't know anything and I don't want to know anything at, uh, till then because we have a game on Tuesday and I don't know, I don't want to know anything about the new players or players leaving or players uh, coming. Did you go into an orbit? I mean, how do you like your on goal? No, no, I was uh, speaking with the club. The club knows my priorities and, uh, and mm -hmm. I don't want to know anything more because I have a game on Tuesday and I have to be focused on the game 100%. Do you expect players to leave? I don't know. I don't know. We spoke previously about uh, Stuart and potentially leaving the club uh, this month. But was this a reminder of sort of his, his ability, his talent? Mm, I don't know who was uh, speaking. I said that uh, Stuart uh, had been an important player for us at the beginning of the season. He's uh, the few player who has uh, Premier League experience. So once again, I showed that uh, I trusted him. And when uh, I can uh, give him the, the chance, I, I give him. With George, um, is it hamstring? No, it's calf, I think. I don't know at the moment because uh, tomorrow when, when the doctor tells me, I'll, I'll start to think. And in terms of transfer, you say that you know, it'll go on, but transfer, is it two players, one player? I don't know. I don't know and uh, I don't want to know. What did you make of the crowd atmosphere today? What did you make of the atmosphere today? 
good good like uh, almost every single day so it's uh, again i don't i can't say anything more about the the crowd and the thing is that they, you're gonna nobody's gonna put myself uh, against my crowd still when he wanted to leave but when he wanted to leave I don't know. I said always that I don't know anything. Never, never. Me? Yes. Yes, he's a player of our squad. What do you make of the timing of this match on Tuesday on the day that the Gibraltar window closes? Sorry. What do you make of the timing of this game on Tuesday, the day that the same day the Gibraltar window closes? It's the it's the day, and uh, again, as a as a coach, I have to be focused on the game because for me, these three points against uh, Westbrook are uh, really really important. So how much of an inconvenience is that? Yeah, but I can't I can't uh, do anything. Very good, both of them. It's uh, it's been good for both of them because. Uh, it was important and it is important for them to add minutes. Uh, Patrick, for example, showed that he's a really, really good player, but he needs uh, games because uh, the Patrick Bamford uh, three years ago, two years ago, would have scored two or three goals. So he showed that he needs to be more, more confident. Uh, he knows how much I trust him. And Rudy, the same. He's been with us for uh, two weeks, three weeks. And he's improving, he's uh, fighting a lot. So I'm really, really pleased with both of them. You're disappointed to miss out on Robert Snodgrass. Are you disappointed to miss out on your signing? No, I'm always uh, concerned with my with my players, the players who are not here. I, I can't be concerned. What have you made of West Brom this season? What have you made of West Brom this season? I can't understand. What do you think about them, the season that they've had so far? Pff, amazing, once again. Uh, every single team that uh, Tony is the coach is doing a, an amazing job so I have uh, I admire him a lot so he's doing a, an amazing job this season against uh, oh, again sorry with uh, with them and given that the hope of course losing to West Ham last night now into overtime to, to get back to winning losing especially at home yes it's a <laughs> night game we we are or we most of the times uh, win or at least we played really, really good games uh, in the night, and I, I hope that it can be a, another good night here at the Riverside. And presumably, many, many changes. I don't know. I need to check with the doctor because uh, you know how tired they are. Players who didn't play, how are players who haven't played to today. So I need to check tomorrow and Monday. Thank you.